Recently, I've been getting into flying FPV again. I've been using this ludicrously cheap transmitter, the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE. It's been great, but very quickly I ran into an issue. I wanted to use an XM Plus receiver with my light radio, and it just wouldn't bind. I'm not a complete noob, so I thought I had this right. My XM Plus receiver uses the FreeSky D16EU LBT protocol, and the Light Radio 2 SE supports that. So what's the issue? Well, it turns out FreeSky have been playing with their receiver firmware lately, adding some new features, but making a bunch of stuff incompatible in the process. That means if you buy a brand new FreeSky receiver and have an older or third party radio, it ain't gonna work. Thanks FreeSky. So, it should be as simple as flashing the firmware, right? Well, unfortunately, almost all the guides I can find require you to have a FreeSky radio with a module bay to do the flashing. I don't have one, and I imagine most people who bought the light radio are in the same boat. Luckily, I found the solution, but I was surprised to find nothing on YouTube showing you how to do it. So, here we go. As you know, this is for the XM Plus. I tried this with an RXSR2, but I couldn't get it to work. I'm sure the process is very similar, but I haven't figured it out yet. Big shout out to Reddit user Warham, who did a fantastic write-up after going through this process himself. So first off, you're going to need to pick up an FTDI programmer. Mine was from Amazon and sent me back about 10 quid. It's important that you use one with a genuine FTDI chip. Check the reviews before purchasing, but the ones linked in the description should do you just fine. You'll also need a 2.2K resistor. It's handy to have a breadboard and some jumper wires, but you can get by without if you're a little creative. First, you'll need to download some stuff on your PC. It's all linked down below. You're gonna need a program called FTProg, FreeSky's Update Sport program, and the required XM Plus firmware. Plug in your FTDI and open FTProg. Click the magnifying glass to find your device. Expand hardware specific and click invert RS232 signals. In here, check invert TXD and RXD. Hit the lightning bolt to flash the FTDI. And then press program in the pop-out window. And after that's done, you can close FTProg. On my device, I need to move a jumper to switch the FTDI to 5 volts, but I assume some will have a physical switch. Either way, make it 5 volts. Now we need to make our circuit. The breadboard always makes things messy, but really it's quite simple. The TX and RX pins need to be connected with the 2.2K resistor. The S plus pin on the XM plus connects to the FTDI's RX, VCC to 5 volt and ground to ground. The 5 volt needs to be unpluggable, so the breadboard comes in handy here. We'll need to start with it unplugged. Open the FreeSky Update Sport program and select the right COM port for the FTDI. Click on File and choose this file if you want EU LBT and this one for FCC. Once that's done, the FreeSky updater will wait for the receiver to be powered, so connect up your 5 volt line. Now don't touch anything until it's done, it should just take a minute or two. After it's finished, you can disconnect your circuit and you should be good to go. Then you can do your binding dance to connect the receiver to your transmitter and fly to your heart's content. That wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for watching. Hope it helped you out. Hit subscribe so you don't miss future projects and I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles.